everyone, Carol here from Carol's Crafty Ways. Hope you're all doing okay. Okay, so what are we going to do today? So today I'm using the new uh, woodware. I think it's pronounced Francozy Francozy stamp. Um, this one is the Magnolia stamp and what we're going to make today is this okay so this is doing a little bit of paper piercing and um, I love to sort of craft on um, this tan card this is the new so we Sue Wilson um, shadow dies so we're going to use that as well okay so let's get started so what i've got is an a5 card i have cut a piece of black which is just make sure my camera's in there that's right which is I'll do it in centimeters for you 20 centimeters by 14 centimeters i have then cut a piece of tan card which is 13 and a half centimeters by 19 and a half and then i've got a piece of cream card which is 19 by 12 and a half okay so first of all we can mount the tan card onto the black card i've done the color in the opposite way around this time just because i felt like it really okay, let's get this mounted onto here and then we can pop this out of the way mount this onto the card Sometimes you buy these A6 stamps and you think, okay, what can I do with them? I always look at how versatile they can be. Um, and I've done various different techniques with this, which I will put on that Instagram page, which I'm trying to get linked up to the YouTube page. Now I'm going to take um, my Lavinia leaf stencil. And I'm just going to line that across the top and I'm going to take some oxides. I've got tea dye okay. and I just want a light um, stenciling on the background. that's fine okay Put the lid on I should wipe the stamps on later okay now I'm going to just mount this on the top that's it wash that later Okay, I'm going to bring in my stamp wheel. I have two pieces of card that I want them. This one that I have cut 10 by 14 and a half. And I'm just going to take my stamp wheel at this point. 
card in. And I'm going to use this fine clear. Put plenty on. A bit or is it stamp like that? No, it is like that. Okay, put that to one side. I've also got a piece of cream card that is, the size is 11 by 17. I'm just going to stamp this on here now because this is the one that I'm going to use to cut out. They stamp absolutely beautifully Pop that there, and I'll just clean up some ink on the bottom of it. I'll just clean this quickly now. Okay. Whilst we're doing that, we will cut out a piece of card. Whilst that's drying, I'm going to cut out. If I can find a piece, my sentiment. So I'm going to do this bit in that colour, and then a piece of black which I did see a piece because I know I could piece earlier not that one bit that's not big enough I have got one somewhere and I'm looking at another piece it's got lost just going to use my little Gemini Mini to cut these out. Okay. 
only can I make this up. I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. These come out in separate words. It's not one long strip. Which I hadn't realised when I bought them. And it's okay, but it's if you lose one of the little letters. You can take a little bit of lining up. Okay, over there. And then we'll focus on the flower so I am going to get a green watercolour pencil these are just one of my Derwent Intense inks and I'm going to just first of all colour in the stem Nice. I'm not using any water. And I'm just going to give this white one a blast. So I want to make sure it's dry. Be a good idea if this was switched on. And I'm just going to take a small pair of scissors and cut out the flowers, just the flower heads, nothing else.
just cut around the edge carefully. Big one. Just going to mount this on some that card. So, and then we're going to put these flowers on the cream coloured flowers that we have cut out. just flat we're not going to raise them or anything this actually makes quite a nice sympathy card as well very quick and easy but it's one way to use the new stamps And again, I'm going to bring the card back in. I just want to mount it flat. And the same for the sentiment at the bottom, that's going to get mounted flat. And then we have a very quick and simple card for a special friend. Oh, thank you for watching. If I could ask you to like and subscribe, that would be wonderful. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.